It's vintage time! This is the only vintage instrument I own. Um, it is a 1968 Tesco E100, according to the uh, tag on the back. The plug is stuffed and everything on this thing is just absolutely stuffed. The tuners are crap. <laughs> the knobs are iffy. And the plug is popping all over the place, and I don't have the guts to take this thing apart because it's old and I don't want to mess it up. Um, big chunk taken out of the neck right here. There's a big. Okay, let's see. Hold on, let me my finger on it. Yeah. Um. I managed to get this thing in tune. It took me a lot longer than it usually takes me to tune an instrument. I mean, these tuners, you really have to, like, wrench them around to get them to work. Some of them are good, because I've used them enough, but... Jeez. So gunked up with, you know, over 40 years of crap and weed. I don't know where this thing was used. I think there used to be a name tag on it, but judging from that, I think it got ripped up. Um... It sounds good. It sounds like a, you know... It's got that single coil sound. And it's got a funky looking pickup in it. Reminds me of a uh, gold foil pickup, but only slightly because these little lines here that look like extra little thing of a jigger on them. I think those do nothing. I think this is just a normal size, uh, not a normal size, obviously not a normal size, I think it's huge. Look at it, it's like hulking all over the place. It's gonna block out the sun. Um, I think it was a, it's just a regular single coil, except for the size. This is just it with the pedal completely bypassed. Um, it's got this weird bridge that one of the things is missing from, so it doesn't stay in tune very well. But it does stay in tune for a few seconds, I guess. Um, I did have this taken in and fixed up as much as they could, so they polished it up. Uh, did as much setup as they could before it started protesting. The neck is somehow straight. Um, it's got these nice little markers where it's like the um, fretboard's like cut out. I don't know if that was done manually or if that's how it was. It's always been like this. Like this thing is probably you know over 40 years old. So. Or, yeah, it is over 40 years old, because 1970 is like 42 years ago. Um, it's a neat little instrument, I guess. It sounds good. Um, I can see the tone pot. It's a green thing. Um, this does the fretboard, the way they uh, marked off the fretboard, though. It does show that this is, in fact, not a rosewood fingerboard with white binding is in fact a big slab of white plastic with some rosewood veneer on top. <laughs> I just now noticed that and I don't know why. When I got it, it didn't have tuning pegs. Um, didn't used to have this big chunk taken out of it because this belonged to my dad, so I played this for... This, I think this was like the second guitar I ever played. I didn't ask you. Um, it was never really like this. I, there was a crack in it, but it wasn't like, you know, there was some big chunk out of the pick card in this thing. But it's a neat instrument. I like it. I always play it when I was little because I like the way it sounded. I like the way it looked. It's full scale. Um, oh yeah, it's really crap and all of them. Yeah. Uh, 1968 budget guitar. What more can you expect? It's not the cable. The cable's brand new. neat little guitar, I guess. There's not much to say about it. I mean, it's really just something that I can screw around with. I mean, it's only got one pickup. Um, you know, it's got a nice, it's got a neat little paint job on it, and the
Head stock is pretty good. Okay, yeah. Turn that off. Um. So yeah, I like it. Um. It's pretty neat. It's got two pegs on it now. I used to have um hooks, like you know those hooks that you put in the wall to hang up pictures. I had those for strap pegs for a while. You know, I did that because it didn't come with anything on it, and I wanted to use it. So that's how it is, and it's awfully dirty. I mean, it needs a cleaning really badly. The fretboard's fine. The guy restrung it because it had like 20-year-old strings on it. Oh, um, I might edit in a picture if I can. I'll edit in a picture of a guitar that I found by my dad's house in the rafters. It's um. I don't know what it is. He said that he put it together from two different guitars. One of them is a Bentley Series 10. That's where the neck came from. The body, because it doesn't have the original neck on it. And even if it did have the original neck, he built the whole thing for free. And the nut is made out of a toothbrush, because the neck, when he got it, didn't have a nut. <laughs> but, um, it stays in tune. Plays nice. It looks really cool. And, um... It's got character because it's beat to crap, and there's a big chunk missing out of the neck, which I will also edit in a picture of right about now. Isn't that clever? I shouldn't have said that because now, you know, if I can't edit the picture, I'm just going to say, Isn't that clever? For no reason. I should, you know, edit these things. But I'm recording straight from YouTube, so what can I do? Um. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. It's a bit scratched up. It's got some character. It's old. It's fun to play. And it looks neat. And I feel like I'm in the Beatles when I'm playing it, so that's a plus. Um, if only I could get a Hoffner violin bass. I hate those things. Um, so yeah, that's the Taze coat with the um, Fender Please Don't Sue Us headstock, where it's got like the little round parts really tiny. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, like, yes, please like this video, like, uh, comment, subscribe, rate, do all these crazy things. Uh, don't click on links in the comments because people are linking viruses and stuff. Don't click on the links. It's not good. A uh, nasty thing has happened here on YouTube. And if you want, if you are, uh, if you want to, if you like the video, tell your friends about me because I really need to get some kind of audience going here. I mean, there's no really no other reason for me to be doing this. I'm trying to get, I know, I'm trying to make people, okay, this thing's freaking out, I can hear it, let's unplug it before it shorts my amp out, it's holding onto the plug, there we go, 40 year old jacks, gotta love him. um, yeah, that's the Tesco guitar of infinite cheapness and infinite radical.